hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther moffrey in today's video i want to show you a very profitable chart pattern that you need to master today it is called inverted head and shoulder and this is a game changer in your trading journey first of all i want to share with you uh, um, something that i had seen on euro usd yesterday and i gave uh, a signal on my paid member so I have this group that I give signals and I'll insert screenshots on the same that I saw EURUSD. Uh, there's something I saw on EURUSD and I shared the signal with my paid members. And uh, the charges for those who are interested is $100 every month. And it's only payable from 1st to 5th. If you don't pay from 1st to 5th, you can't pay in the middle of the month. So I only accept those people who will pay first to fifth of every month if you come on sixth you wait until the next month so this is what i saw and i sent to the uh i sent to the group so i saw a, ch a channel there was a zone here that the buyers were not able to push the market you can see it started from way here it started from here it started all the way from here and the buyers were very weak and then the market, the sellers would come in, buyers try again, sellers would dip. Because if you can even check how the sell was going, the sell was in a slant. Uh, the sell was was making low lows, but the buyers also were making uh, low highs. So the buyers were not able to push that market. So when I saw this, I knew uh, as long as the buyers have not broken any of my zones, I'm ready to sell. And then when I saw this big candle, this uh, big momentum candle, I knew maybe it's time this zone is broken. But after that, there was a, 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 a candle, a pin bar, meaning that the buyers have been defeated. So I gave my signal here. And because I like uh, giving out, take profit with the zones, because you cannot target where the market has not reached our target zone was that place so we were targeting almost 58 pips from where we had entered so that was almost 48 to 50 pips i remember it was around 50 pips take profit so when the market started to move it moved very well and it gave uh it, the, the tp were hit and other trades that i had given out so the the, the interesting thing was when the market broke this structure. So when the market broke this structure, you can see in the morning now, the market has broken this structure. All along my mind was this market will go up test this zone and had even put sell limits. And then after it test this zone, we have a drop. So, but uh, again, I said, wait a minute, if it has broken the structure, it can mean that this liquidity has been grabbed for the buyers now, uh, for the market makers now to push this market up. If you don't know how institutional trading it is done, stay here, be tuned, because next week I'll be teaching on institutional trading. So for me, I knew maybe this is a mark, is a liquidity grab for this market to go up, but still I have in mind that this can be a break and retest kind of a situation. So for me, um, eventually I was waiting for this market to retest this big box. Uh, I had a box here, let me show you. So when it didn't do that, I woke up, canceled all my limits, and now I'm waiting on the new, uh, on new uh, outcome of the market. So for me, when the market broke with these three candles, I was waiting the market to retest. Uh, when it was here, I was waiting something like this. The market, it broke with these two candles, the market to retest here, and then now give us this big move. But this big move has happened before it retesting. So I think sellers ha are done with this market. And I I, when I woke up, saw this big momentum candle, I knew either the market grab, uh, the liquidity grab has happened and the market will go up. Or even if it will retest, it will be a struggle sell. So I said, let me go to higher time frame to really understand what is going on. So if you want to do higher time frame analysis, I highly suggest you do daily time frame. So when I went to daily time frame, 
when I went to daily time frame, I saw something interesting. And this is where I found a hair inverted, a possible. I'm not saying it is, it can be. I'm just saying it, I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it can be an inverted head and shoulder. And for you guys who are here, and maybe some of you don't know what is inverted head and shoulder. This is what I mean. Inverted head and shoulder, there is a zone here. And mostly it happens on a downward market the market has to be trending downward break that of course the zone and then when it breaks the zone the buyers come in and because they know where the market wants to retest when the buyers come in they will take their profit here so this zone the market will not push high and this is a place where we call the neckline so that zone we call a neckline let me even write for you that is a neckline so that zone is a neckline. So when we have a neckline like that, and then sellers now because they have seen those who were involved in this downtrend market, they have seen the market has retested. The sellers are the ones that come in again and they will push the market even lower than this. And when they push the market the lower than this, of course, buyers, when they involved in, they want to in get involved to the retest. And this time around, because there's a zone here, the market even may push even higher because sometimes the retest is up to here. But in this case, we can see the retest is going back to the neckline. So, and now we are starting to see an inverted head and shoulder getting in, uh, getting formed. So, this is a shoulder. So, that's our shoulder getting formed that way. And then now this lower low, the lower low is our head. I hope you guys are following. So, this is our head. So, after the head is formed and the market goes back to the to the neckline now when the sellers push this market they are unable to push back to the head so because everyone now has suspected this is can be inverted head and shoulder if those sellers will enter the market starts mm -hmm. uh getting rejected at this place mm -hmm. at this level you can see there is a level here and now this is where now you get involved because if the market is getting rejected here, the market has possibility of going back to the neckline. And when the market now go back to the neckline, two things can happen. The buyers now, it is their time to break the, the neckline that has not been broken for three attempts. Or the sellers can come in in a big way and now take this market to the head. So if I'll give you a situation where two things happen. If the if the if the if the buyers break the neckline, where do you think the market will go? That is our first question. The market goes the distance of the head. So I'll measure the neckline to the head and then I put this yellow. So the distance of the neckline to the head is the is where when the market is broken, that's where the market goes. So the market will go up to that distance. And then you put, that is your targeted TP. So if the market breaks that place, uh, the neckline, the market will go there. So that is one. The market will go there. So what if the, the, the buyers were not able to break this neckline? So if they will not be able to break this neckline, you will see a situation of the market will start coming down, retesting the same place and going back to the, the measure of the head. So it is that easy. So all you need to understand is that if you have spot and head and shoulder where the second shoulder is getting formed, your take profit, your first take profit is where? To the neckline. Because until the neckline is broken, you cannot get involved. Until this neckline is get has been broken, you cannot get involved in this trade. But if the neckline is broken and it is retested, your second entry is here. So if you enter here, your first take profit is at the neckline. Guys, I hope that is clear. And if the neckline is broken and retested, your take profit is the measurement of the head to the neckline. If the neckline is rejected, wait until the market starts coming down. It comes like it want to retest. When you enter here, the take profit is there 
where the head was so this being said let me now see if you can see something that i'm seeing in this case we have a possible head and shoulder and if we have this possible head and shoulder this market you can start thinking to buy euro usd and it will pay you very good so we have said our market has to be a downtrend. We can see this is a downtrend market and it reached here. So creating our what? It has created our shoulder. So I will write there shoulder. And then after I write shoulder, the market tend to come up. So where did it go? It went up. Let me give you uh, the market came up and it stopped here. So this one, we have a neckline. So I can draw a neckline very well. So that's our neckline. That's our neckline. Let me change the color. So we have our neckline. Let me write it for you. Neckline. So we have our neckline. And then after our neckline, we have the market dropped again, breaking this low. You can see that low has been broken. The same way I have been, sh I've shown you, this low was broken. It made a what when it broke the low, it made the head. So this is all happening on the Euro USD. So when the head was made, the market went back up. It went back to our neckline. Why did it, why did these buyers not break the neckline? It is because there is a pattern that want to be given here. And then after now sellers now came in. Now the sellers are the ones that have reached the market back to the second shoulder. They want to form the second shoulder. So as I speak, the market is in a place where we have a very good buy we have a very good buy but it has not been confirmed the thing is let me now wrap the arrows because the arrows have no uh there is nothing here for the arrows um where the market is, it is at the second shoulder. So guys, how can you see now? This is a pattern that is very profitable and I'll show you why. So this is our second shoulder. That's our second shoulder. So when the market is our second shoulder, what do we want to see? We want the market to come up to back to our neckline. So the first take profit, the first take profit, uh, it will be here. So this is our targeted uh, take profit. Let me show you. TP take profit is there. So if you enter this market, target to that neckline. And before you enter this market, there's something that we need to see here. First of all, this is on a daily time frame. We need to see a candle that is rejecting this sale. We need to see either a, a, a morning star candle because morning star is a reversal of sell we need to see a bullish engulfing candle we need to see like a parma or a pin bar something to show us that this market has been rejected so don't watch this video and go right away and buy because we don't know if the market can still continue to go down but if you are given a candle which i will even update you guys we have a very good buy opportunity on euro usd and the pips are amazing. The pips are 256 pips back to the neckline. So what if the neckline get broken? So that's where we are. If this neckline, let me show you something. If this neckline get broken, because now this will be our third attempt, where do you think the market will go? Now we have to measure the distance of the neckline to what? To the head. We have to measure that distance of neckline to the head and then bring now this box all the way up. So this market, that's what I'm saying, this is a very good opportunity of this market. So uh, the market will eventually go up to that place. If that happens, it will go to the market, will go to 18.36. So I'll just delete this. This is what I was showing you. And then I screenshot this. When I screenshot it, if it happens, I will share with you guys. So this is what I'm telling you. The pattern is very profitable because if you caught, if you get uh, lucky and get involved before everything happens and if the market breaks the neckline, still you get involved. What happens? How many pips will you get? Let's now see how many pips you'll get. 
let me delete that if let's say the market will even break here let's see how many pips you'll get from the shoulder you will get how many pips 608 pips so guys i hope this thing is clear to you guys i hope you will uh pay attention on euro usd if you didn't have anything to trade i've given you a setup all we need to do because now we are we are looking for buy opportunity flip your chart to four hour and wait wait for that's this is what you do wait for a green candle to form this is what you do guys wait this green candle to form come put your box if let's say that candle has already uh, formed put a box like that if it breaks this box and retest enter your buy and target where i've told you this is a long term a long term buy target this neckline and the market will surely go to that place so if the market breaks this box retest it you will surely have how many pips will surely have let me count for you 200 and let's say 210 pips so euro usd is one of the pairs that you need to pay attention more so the candle close of today it is very important because this market can go very fast on friday that is tomorrow so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have enjoyed this video kindly trade euro usd if you want to join my mentorship program where i train you step by step is forty thousand four hundred usd for two weeks and lifetime mentorship if you want to enter my signal group it is a hundred dollars that is ten thousand kenya shillings and either my mentorship or signal you only register from first to fifth if you come any other date i don't take students only on those five days thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye